Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be pruning a few flowering trees around my landscape, and I'll show you how to do it to make sure that the tree can heal itself while it's still dormant as it slowly starts to wake up for the spring. My name is Lena, and this is Life on Green Acres. I have a lavender twist eastern redbud here, and this is a weeping plant, and it gets about six to eight feet tall, but it also gets about six to eight feet wide. And this is a hardy down to zone five, and it's an early bloomer. It's a deciduous tree, so it drops all of its leaves in the winter, but it's gonna slowly start to wake up, and it blooms these beautiful, beautiful flowers in early spring. In order to keep this tree healthy, I have to maintain it by trimming it at least once a year uh, in the early spring or the fall. So the general rule of thumb is, is if you have a tree that's a flowering tree, you want to trim that tree or prune it in order to keep it healthy, either very late winter, early spring, or very late fall. And depending on the type of tree that you have is when you're going to actually prune your tree. For instance, these two branches right here are just really stuck onto each other. This is no good. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to kind of work this out so they don't have all this friction happening between them. And I'm gonna get rid of anything that looks like these little guys here, these guys. These are just, these are not, these are not doing anything for the life of this tree. So I'm getting rid of anything that looks like dead or diseased, dry or sick, because that'll eventually spread and it's not good for the health of the tree. Okay, well, it definitely looks a lot cleaner and it really had a lot of dry uh, twig kind of branches growing off of it. Um, there were uh, quite a few branches that were kind of overlapping and that's really bad for, for your tree, but I think part of the, this tree's attributes is that it will do that, you know, everything kind of cascades over each other, but there are some very suspicious things going on in my weeping lavender twist. Um, I did take some of the branches off and I noticed that some of them have like, almost like this brown kind of dark, almost looks like it's like rotting in the middle. Um, I don't know, so I'll see how this goes. I'll see how this tree does. It does look very bare, but it should be okay. And if it's not, I'll just plant something else. <laughs> So this is a Yoshino cherry tree, and it's hardy down to zone five. It gets about 40 to 50 feet tall and 20 to 35 feet wide. And I planted it about five years ago, and generally they get about 12 to 24 inches of growth a season. And they have these gorgeous, gorgeous blooms in the spring. And mine in particular are more on the pink side, but apparently they're supposed to bloom in white. This one blooms in pink. I got it from an Aldi actually, believe it or not, for like 14 bucks. But I'm gonna go ahead and actually raise the canopy a little bit by lopping off these particular branches right here because I want the canopy to start where this kind of, this area here is. I'm also gonna take off any of these branches that are kind of going inward towards a tree. That's usually not a good idea. And I'll take a step back and see how it goes. There's a little bit of anatomy that goes into how you're gonna be cutting branches uh, from your trees. This section right here, which is the branch bark ridge, and this section under here is the branch bark collar. I don't want to cut here or here, and I don't want to cut too close to this section here. So I'm going to kind of get it right just above here slightly and just go about right down there. And that should make sure that this tree recovers quite nicely. So as you can see, I still have the branch bark ridge and I haven't compromised the actual collar. In order to increase circulation for the tree to be able to stay healthy um, once the foliage all comes in is to eliminate these little branches that are going and growing into the tree rather than out. I don't know if you could see, I lopped off one side of that branch, but I left the other one because 
I don't want to take too much off this treat at once. I really don't want it to go into shock and then die. So I could always leave that section down at the bottom, this whole branch that I left right here. I could always leave that for either really late fall or next spring. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I think this actually turned out pretty decent. It's cleaned up, it looks a little better, and I'm excited to see how this is gonna actually bloom. Just to recap a little bit, if you want to prune your trees, uh, make sure that you are pruning it at the right time of the year. Flowering trees should actually be pruned at the beginning of spring or the end of fall. And if you're not sure, talk to your local garden center. Another thing you want to remember is not to cut too close to the trunk of the tree and not to cut too far up on the branch that you're trying to cut. You want to be mindful of the bark ridge region as well as the bark collar region. I hope you found this video helpful and are ready for spring planting. I know I am. Thanks again for watching. My name is Lena and this is Life on Green Acres.